Hey everybody, it is Aisa of Lil Shay One and Forest Naturals. Um, I'm here today with a bit of a message. I'm very disturbed. I'm so hot right now. I've been doing a, a whole lot of things. I just got off work and I've uh, oh, been outside in the scorching hot sun trying to do a good deed. Alright, uh, so the problem for today is it actually goes back just a little bit further. Maybe about last week, my boyfriend came home and he was like, Oh my gosh, you didn't get the text that I sent you? And I'm like, no, what text? So he explains to me that he was driving uh, on a street maybe just a couple of blocks from here. And he saw a man run up to a woman with her two children and grab her purse and run. Now he saw him go down through an alley and he knew where the alley ended. So since he was turning already and he was in a car he went and finished making his turn went to the end of the alley parked the car got out waited on the side and hooked off on this guy when he came out of the alley knocked him out and people had been chasing him but they weren't caught up to him so as soon as he got knocked onto the ground like all these people pounced on him the guy got caught the lady got her things back yay boyfriend he's such a nice guy okay so now we get to today. Um, I went to work, I worked a graveyard shift, I'm on my way. Um, I went to the grocery store this morning after work and um, finally on my way back, super hot, super tired, I had to park far away, I got all these groceries. And I get to my apartment building and lo and behold there's like all of this stuff all over the steps. I'm going to let you say. Yeah, well that is the the stuff when I was starting to put it into a bag. And um, I have a little bit of video footage right here. I should have taken uh, some video, but I did get some pictures of uh, the stuff when it was still all over, thrown on the ground, including her purse and everything. She got just all of this woman's stuff thrown all over the place. And this is the stuff that I left behind. I didn't feel that it was uh, all that significant. And the bigger things and things with words, like business cards, things I feel like she might really need. I put them in a bag and we're going to try to find them. Now that stuff belongs to a woman named Tanya. I'm not going to put her last name out there. It's irrelevant anyway. Um, but like I said, as I walked up on the steps, I see all of this stuff that looks like the inside of a woman's purse. Uh, it looks like the inside of mine. It's messy, Q-tips and everything everywhere. Uh, a couple of wallets thrown over into the grass over on the side. So I start searching through and I'm like, well, maybe somebody beat up their girlfriend out here and made her leave her stuff or whatever. So I go through the wallet to try to see who it is and all of her wallets and everything are all empty. Um, so it's clear to me that someone got robbed. The purse has been snatched from them and the person stole the money and like ditched all their stuff. Like literally just dumped their stuff out like it was garbage all over the steps and the dirt and everything. So I picked up this woman's stuff. I mean it is, I'm going to try to return it to her. I found things with like all different addresses so me and my boyfriend are going to go and try to uh, find her. We found maybe a, a phone number or something, but we're assuming that he probably stole the phone. Look, her wallet, completely empty. Her little change purse, her, they even stole her bus tokens. Her other little wallet. Police reports where she's been victimized in some sort of way. So I'm wondering if maybe uh, whoever has been uh, doing stuff to her, made her the victim in this uh, police report, is uh, targeting her and harassing her. Uh, we might have come up with a lead with this empty pill bottle. Um, I mean, so many lip glosses, toothbrush, toothpaste, just all the things that a, a girl would have, you know, with her, just thrown on the ground. And this lady must be just absolutely sick, just lost without all of her stuff. I don't know how I would 
feel to, oh, well, I just lost my wallet a little while ago, but I mean, nobody beat me up and took it. I have been robbed when I was about 17 of man, uh, he stole my earrings and then I fought him and then he, yeah, he punched me in the face and broke my glasses and then I chased him. Yeah, I'm a pretty tough chick, but, uh, hopefully I'm not as dumb if it ever were to happen to me again, but I just want to say to all of you ladies, please, please, please be safe out there. Um, it's not, it's sad that you have to have your guard up so often and you never get to really take leisurely happy walks through a lot of neighborhoods these days but I mean I guess it is what it is so um, I just wanted you guys to know my pain and frustration for the day before I go on about and uh, try to return these things to this woman um, you guys be safe I love you I can't wait to talk to you again bye